Now that um, I've read the story to you and you have read Green with Envy, let's go ahead and answer the questions and check what you have on your paper. Okay, so let's start on the boxes on the side um, and let's go over the characters in the story. Um, the characters in this passage are pretty easy and easy to recognize. There's three characters in this story. So hopefully you said Carly. And I do know boys and girls in the story, they spelled Carly two different ways, which I don't know why they did that. So if you spelled it with just a Y, that's fine. If you put an E-Y at the end, that's fine too. Um, I don't know why they ended up switching it, but um, either is correct, okay? Another character is Mickey. Now, is Mickey a person? No, Mickey is not a person, okay? And her puppy, Mickey. So Mickey is a puppy, but it still is a character in the story, okay? And the last character in the story comes a little bit later because um, Carly gets this character as a, a, a birthday present, um, and that is Betty. Betty is a, is Betty a um, person? No, Betty is a bunny, okay? Carly got a new bunny for her birthday, and she named it Betty. So those are the three characters, Carly, Mickey, Betty. Put a little check or a star in the box if you got that correct. All right, let's move. All right, the setting in the story. Now remember, the setting means where the story takes place. Now this one is a little bit more difficult because it doesn't directly tell us in the story where they are or where Carly and Betty and um, Mickey are, but we can use some context clues to kind of figure it out. So what were your guesses? What, where do you think Betty, Carly, and Mickey are in the story. Where do you think the story is taking place? You might say something like, maybe they're at Carly's house. Now, the house belongs to Carly, so I need an apostrophe S. And they might be at Carly's house because at the beginning of the passage, they talk about um, they eat lunch together under a tree, they nap together when they're lazy, things like that. When you take naps, most of the time, you're probably at your house. But they also do a lot of playing. And where do you think they're playing? Probably outside. So Carly's house or outside near Carly's house, okay? So either I think would be acceptable. It doesn't tell us they're at a mall or it doesn't tell us they're at school or anything like that. So either of those answers are acceptable. Um, the problem in the story, hold on, is there something else? Oh, if you got it correct, you can go ahead and put a star or a check. The problem in the story. What is the problem in the story? What happens that um, need, there's something that needs solved? Okay. Um, there's a couple different ways you could state this. You could say Carly got a new pet. She got a new pet bunny for her birthday. That could be the problem because that's what started the issues. Or you could say something like the problem is Mickey is jealous of Betty, the bunny. So either of those would be um, acceptable as well, boys and girls. Now, if you don't have this word for word as your answer wrong, Absolutely not. So don't think if you don't have my exact sentences that your answers are incorrect, okay? They don't have to be word for word, as long as they're about stated in the same way, okay? Just roughly stated. So again, the problem, Carly got a new pet, or we could say Mickey is jealous of Betty. Mickey is jealous of the new pet, or Mickey's jealous of the new bunny that Carly has. All right, so the solution. How did the problem get solved? What did Carly do to solve this problem? And we can find that answer at the very end of the story. What did Carly do or say to Mickey um, about the whole situation and about him being jealous or upset about the new pet? 
So we could say Carly solved the problem by saying Carly said they could all be friends and play. And you can copy that straight from the passage, boys and girls. It says it up here. Don't be fussy, said Carly. We can all be buddies and play together. So you can directly copy that. We can all be buddies and play together. And I said friends, which is just a synonym for buddy. Buddies and friends mean the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and look here at our um, answer or our questions at the bottom. So if you have not already, um, hopefully, or maybe you can go in at the end and you can take or go through and highlight, underline all of the long E words, okay? So words that say E, the E says its name. So you can find all of those words and highlight them or circle them with a pencil or a marker if you have not done so already. Um, but if you have, Good job. I'm not going to go through and show you all of those. You can have a parent check it. But let's go ahead and go over some of these questions here. We have three questions to answer. Number two, what does it mean to be green with envy? Well, I've already talked about that one to you. We can also look in the story a little bit um, where at the end, I'll quote Miss um, Carly in the story, Mickey hid under his bed. Um, and Carly said, don't be fussy, all right? But what does envy mean? Why does, why is Mickey full of envy? And what did I say earlier? Envy means to be jealous, okay? Mickey is jealous of the new bunny, Betty. So I'm going to write, it means to be jealous. Kind of say um, you could say maybe upset means to be upset or angry okay but jealous I think is the best way to state what envy means all right and again if you don't have exactly what my sentence says you do not have to erase it and change it okay um, just make sure it's about um, along the same lines all right number three why was Mickey envious of Betty why was Mickey envious of Betty? So why was Mickey upset? Or why didn't Mickey really like Betty, the new bunny? Okay, why was he jealous of the new bunny? He was jealous because Carly was playing with Betty. So Mickey was used to having all of the attention on him and then now a new pet came in and Carly was paying attention to Betty and playing with her. So Mickey started to become envious or jealous of Betty because the attention was not on him anymore. And again, this does not have to be word for word. Your answer can still be correct by not having my exact sentence. So um, just make sure it's along the same lines. And the last one, have you ever been green with envy? Explain. Think of a time you were jealous, okay? Maybe it was when your brother or your sister got a really cool birthday gift and you were jealous they had it. Um, maybe it was a time a friend invited so somebody over and you didn't get invited and you were jealous a little bit. Um, maybe it was your brother or sister got invited to a sleepover but you didn't get to do anything. Okay. I'm sure there was some time at, at some point in your life that you have been a little bit jealous or green with envy, just like Mickey was in the story. So go ahead and give me one sentence here about a time that you were green with envy. So again, just one sentence, boys and girls, about why you were green with envy. And then you're done with this page. Fantastic job.